I never thought I'd say this, but I'm no longer a Quizlet girl. All through high school and undergrad, that is what I used religiously for my flashcards. Active recall is like the best way to study. But now in PA school, I've officially transitioned to Anki. Yeah, um, there's a couple reasons why. Um, Anki is really good with spaced repetition, which is something that Quizlet does not have. I know there's Quizlet Pro and some of my classmates are using that and they like it. But Anki has an algorithm um, where you rank each card that you see between um, hard, good, easy, or show me it again, like it's very hard, or I don't know it. And um, the algorithm is literally designed to make sure that you are focusing on the cards that you need the most. Um, and it also schedules, schedules, schedules all of your flashcards for you so you have a certain amount due each day and it kind of takes the stress off of creating your own study schedule so the learning curve is definitely sharp like I really wanted to stay with Quizlet because it's more user friendly it looks nicer it's like more visually appealing Anki just looks like uh, black text on a white screen like it's very <laughs> rudimentary but it's because it's I'm pretty sure it's open source and it's just a bunch of people who have collaborated to like write the code to make these cards work a certain way um, but there's just so many advantages and there's this guy on YouTube called on King who makes a bunch of videos about how to set up the um, right settings on your spaced repetition and everything so if you can overcome the initial learning curve i think it's definitely worth it it's a free um program on a desktop computer and it is i think a 25 dollars app if you want the app on your iphone i haven't yet made the leap to get the app but i might eventually i just want to test out the desktop version first to see if i'm going to be using it consistently but yeah, that's just my two cents if you are transitioning to grad school or any sort of health profession. It might be worth it to overcome that initial learning curve of Anki and use that instead. So.